necessary. You know, she wants to get in the top 10 in the world. To do that, she needs, you know, best case scenario, she needs 187. Yeah. Better case scenario, she needs about 191, depending on who she's trying to overtake and whether she's willing to, you know, yeah. let other countries remove athletes. You know, this lift, I think, might set the tone. You know, it's, it's that important. She makes this. She builds a lot of momentum and confidence for the next ones. She has a lot of power. She just, you know, she, she does have a tendency to miss snatches sometimes. Oh, so strong, so fast. Yep. But like you said, just a tiny bit off, a little loop, and it's not there. The downside to that here is, you know, she's got two lifts left, and is it one of those games where... It so creeps into your mind that maybe I should bump up because I need more. Well, this is the type Ten. of athlete that we're, we're going to notice either here and then in Thailand are basically just going to be yeah. taking jumps at top 10 results. I mean, essentially, that's yeah, for. that's where she's at now. I mean, 83 is essentially, you know, yeah. setting herself up as much as she, as she can. Yeah. You know, with the best snatch of 85, 83 really is pretty heavy. You know, what, what's interesting here is that this, in her case, a little more unique because she's in the top here at the Continental, is going to be in the top three here. But these aggressive attempts might knock her out of, I mean, you know, God forbid someone Medals. bombs it because, they're, yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're trying to get top ten. And, and so that allows for someone who maybe wasn't really going to be in that spot to, mm -hmm. to creep into the podium, you know? Yeah. You're yeah, going to get a bronze medalist. Lift. I mean, if she just makes a snatch and a clean and jerk, that's yeah. that will probably be a, a silver medal in the total for her. Yeah. But of course, she, she's not here for that. That's just a byproduct of what she's really here yeah. for, which is to get in the top 10 in the world. She wants to go to the Olympics. Yeah. And right now, you know, Italy's got two, maybe three men in the top 10. If we yeah. include Mirko Zania, he might be in the top 10 at 73s. But on the women's side, they're, they're all, you know, they're all right on the cusp. Certainly a fan favorite. A lot of speed, a lot of power. She just has to pull it a little bit straighter, control that at the top. Ah. One behind, yep. one in front. Well, now it's a tough spot. Does she go up? Yeah, I mean, does she go to 85, hoping that Kambe doesn't just bump to 86 and rob her of the clock? Well, let's but just... That's, you know, 85 and 100 would just put her in the same spot she was at. So to, so to recap, like some of what we spoke about earlier, she's in 12th in the world. She needs to get into the top 10. Yeah. But we do know that Nina Starks is trying to go as a 59. Right now she's ranked at 49. So once we remove her, Julie moves up to 11th. Yeah. So she only has to move ahead of Cheng Jin Lin. Yeah, she needs 187. To get into 10. She needs 187. I mean, at, at this moment right now, if you're a coach in the back, you're on the Italian team, you understand that 187 is the only logical number to yeah. be trying. Do you do... 83 again and then try and hit a 104 PR. I mean, do you go 86 and then only have to do 101? Do yes. you do 84 and, and 103? I, I mean, I think you stick with 83. Well, being that two attempts yeah, at it haven't yeah. succeeded, a third, I mean... But it's not a strength thing. It's a question, right? Is it, is it the third at 83, 84 mm -hmm. wouldn't be any different? Or even 85 even? Yeah, I don't think it would look different. You know, she, I, I believe she made 85 on her opening attempt. Uh, just you know, a couple of months ago yeah. in uh, in Doha. We are down for one minute. Yeah, she's 85. Then took two shots at 87 and, and, and missed. You know, and now it's a now it's a question too of are you going to try to salvage a medal here? Yeah. I mean, she has to make a snatch to even be in the running for a medal. Yeah. You know, she could she could potentially knock herself out of out of that place with this big opener. So Julia has made 36% of all of her snatched third attempts. Yeah, it's... So 36%, it's not... Doesn't bode well no, for no, a successful doesn't. lift here, but, you know. It's a non-zero percent chance, so she could make this. She's got the speed, has the power. Oh, what Can a Can she fight. hold it? What, uh, what an attempt. Yeah. And that is what happens That's with this new qualification procedure for the Olympics. You yeah, know, the athletes who are on the cusp are going to just take these massive shots to try and get in. And, you know, we're going to see more of this at this European yeah. Championships. We saw a lot of it in Uzbekistan at the Asian Championships last week. And
It's brutal. It's gonna happen. It's yeah. a it's a brutal a brutal event here. It's it's so challenging. It's not the fault of the athletes. It's no. not the fault of the coaches. You know, it, if any of us were in that position where you're sat in 11th in the world, yeah, of course you're going to open heavy and try and go to the Olympics. Yeah, you can't fault somebody for making no. the absolute attempt they need to get into that top spot. It's tough. I mean, uh, there's that third that attempt. So close, just to on her toes too much. See the emotion. She knows. Okay, I've got. I have one more chance at this, and it's in Thailand. And yeah. In two months, in under two months, she's going to be trying this again. I mean, it's brutal. That's not enough time to, you know, if she's not running a big program there, she's got to, yeah. these athletes have to stay in shape.